Welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. Continuing on the spring cleaning theme, I'm going to be sharing with you how I clean lights, lighting, lampshades, lamps, little chandeliers like this one here behind me and share with you all of my tips to get them sparkling. Now we have got beautiful sunlight flooding our rooms. We need to make sure that our lighting is clean and ready for the spring and summer. So please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, to like the videos and really importantly to comment. I love hearing from you. I love your feedback. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see more of and what you think of this video. I love antique lighting. We bought this from a shop in London when we were redoing the house and doing a big build project. This room is actually a new addition. We extended, we extended out this way. And I just love this. It's really pretty. It's not overpowering. It's feminine. It's elegant. But it does get dirty and it does need a jolly good clean from time to time. So I'm going to very carefully take it down. Now obviously with huge chandeliers this is not you know big ones it's not a it's not a one-man one job this is totally manageable on my own I've done it many times but you do need to be you know give thought to lighting when you buy a light think about how you're going to clean it um, or get somebody else to clean it for you you know really huge difficult ones that are hard to reach um, you might need to get some professionals in. So just give it a little bit of thought. I don't know if you can see, but it is pretty filthy. And there's also, if I, if I tip it, I won't drop it, but there's a lot of sort of flies and stuff that's gathered in there, which is not very nice. So I have got a washing up bowl at the ready and I'm gonna carefully put it in there, take it downstairs and give it a jolly good clean. So in my washing up bowl with my light fitting, I have got some hot water from the tap and a squeeze of my favorite fairy liquid. I've also got a soft and old kind of Spontex scouring sponge and I'm just going to really gently wash out that bottom part of the light fitting, the little chandelier and just really gently, gently, gently because it is quite fragile and bits will come apart if you are not careful. But it doesn't need too much, it's just a bit dusty and just a quick rinse and a little kind of agitate around in the water it will be blooming in no time the good thing about using fairy liquid is i don't need to rinse it either so i have got a big towel at the ready and i'm just going to tip that off have a look it's yeah it's done the job already so really carefully, I'm going to lay it down onto my towel and just dry it. It's really important to dry it properly before you go to hang it back up. So a big fluffy old towel is the perfect thing to use. And I'm just going to carefully lay out each piece. This is something that needs doing, you know, once a year is fine. You can do it a couple of times a year. It depends how easy it is to take your light fitting down. This is relatively easy. And I see there's a bit that's come off there. That's okay. Mm -hmm worked out over the years how to piece it back together. So 
It's also important if you've got tiny bits, not to do it over the sink because you might lose things down the plug hole. So I love to use a washing up bowl and then you've got everything safely contained if you're worried about losing bits because I have got a few bits that I think are in my washing up bowl. There's definitely two bits in here. There is one. And there is the other. Let me just check. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> Give them a good dry. And you don't need to use any, you know, specialist cleaning products for this job. Honestly, a squirt the fairy liquid and you are good to go. Now just put these bits back. On. You can also pick up um, lighting at auctions. Auctions often have lots of lighting, particularly Bellman's, which is down here in Sussex. They have a great online um, website. You know, there's lots of great places, antique shops, junk shops, you name it, you can um, you know, keep your eyes peeled, keep them open and you can pick up some brilliant things. And it's much cheaper than um, buying new. Actually, lighting is very, very expensive. So I think we are nearly, nearly done. Oops. And we just need to dry in that. Bulb. I might do that separately. I <laughs> mumbling to myself. Right, that is good to go back up. Really quick, it doesn't take too long. All these jobs are a lot quicker than you think they're going to be. You think, oh goodness, that's going to take forever, but it really hasn't. I am a big fan of this attachment of my vacuum cleaner. So I have a Miele cat and dog, which I just think is brilliant. But I'm going to use it on my light fitting because it's a little bit dusty up there. And if I was to get a duster or a thingy, it's just going to flick the dust everywhere. And I don't want to do that. I love sucking up dust. So I'm going to get up there and suck up this bit of dust. Then using just a very slightly damp cloth, wring it out really carefully. You must be very careful of water and electricity. I'm just going to wipe the end bits just to get any leftover dust. You're going to do a job, do it properly. So we'll just give those a little wipe. The reason why I love that attachment on my vacuum cleaner is it's really gentle so you know that you're not going to damage anything by using it and you can easily clean it as well so if you're using it for you know a clean job you can give it a wash I have very carefully carried my clean little chandelier up in the towel and it is now time to put it back up all clean all sparkling so a little bit fiddly We are done. Looks so much better. I'm going to turn the light on and show you it's gleaming. Look at that. So much better. I do need to just untwist a few of them, but good wash makes such a difference. So I'm now going to use this on my lampshades. You can use a hairdryer and blow the dust, but actually I prefer to use this 
and it sucks up the dust and then it's less mess. And this is really delicate and really gentle. So I'm going to show you just how I um, clean, clean the lampshades over there. It just takes a couple of seconds, but it makes a real difference just you know including your lampshades in your cleaning routine and not forgetting about them because they do attract dust and it does get caught on them we have a lot of lamp lighting in our house we don't have very much overhead we've got a few wall lights but the majority is lamps there are lamps in every room this one it's got to be about i don't know 30 years old lampshade is probably the same it's not in perfect condition at all but actually, I don't like things to be too perfect and too pristine. I want it to feel homely. It's got the, got the odd mark on it, but that doesn't matter to me. A really good lampshade will last you years. A lot of ours are cream, and I'm gonna show you how I tackle cleaning them. Like I use this upstairs in our bedroom, I also use it down here. Again, if you were worried about marking your lampshade with this attachment, or if you don't have it, you've got a different type of vacuum cleaner, you can use the hairdryer and just blow all of the dust off. But I'm gonna use this and show you how. So once you've sucked off all the dust, I'm just going to use a damp cloth to wipe the base of the lamp. It's also a really good idea to give the table a wipe. Do make sure that your cloth is just fractionally damp and not wet. That is terribly important. Just ever so slightly damp. You'll find that you get quite a lot of dust that gathers on the lead and so it's just good from time to time to give it a wipe and then just final dust on the table and you are done. In fact I'm going to turn it on. There we are. If you would like help and advice with your cleaning, I do have my cleaning schedule, which is available on my website. It is packed full of useful info and it helps you get a good routine and system in your home, keeping it clean and keeping on top of everything. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you have found it helpful. Please do leave your comments below. Let me know what you would like to see more of as well. Wishing you a fabulous, fabulous weekend and happy spring cleaning.